Hi everyone, my name is Aubrey and today we're going to be diving into all the books that I want to read in the month of May. So this video is going to be pretty short because I don't have that many books on my TBR. I feel like every single little TBR I do, I always say this but this is actually my, I think my third time ever doing the TBR. I've always done like one nonfiction a month type of deal but I'm definitely a mood reader so I don't really stick to a TBR but for the month of March and April I think I completed both of my TBRs which has been really good accomplishment for me because I want to try to get through all of these books that I have and so I'm going to be showing you guys what I hope to read in May. I think I have a total of six books and of course one of those is my nonfiction. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and dive in and you guys can see what I'm reading this month. I guess we can start off with the kicker of my nonfiction. I'm actually going to be reading is God Anti-Gay. This is a book I've never read, but I've had a few people that I know read this book. It's really interesting, the covers, like, I know you guys can see those, but when you look at it normally, you can't really see all of them. Well, I don't know, maybe you can. I do really like this cover, I think it's neat. Um, and yeah. I genuinely don't really know much about this book. I do know that I read a book similar to this called Gay Awareness by Landon Sculpt or something like that. I hated it. It was the worst book I've ever read. Um, I think in my November TBR or my November reading wrap up I talked about it. I thought it was awful. I literally thought it was the worst book I've ever read. As you can see, I really don't like that book and so I was just really confused and I had someone reach out and recommend this to me. My boyfriend actually gave it to me but I think he was given, um, he was he got it from someone who was like, she shouldn't read this but anyways, I will of course let you guys know my honest thoughts um, at the end of the month but yeah, this is a very interesting topic. Maybe taboo is the right word, I don't really know. All I know is that maybe I'll learn something from the reading experience. Last physical book I have, all the rest are on my iPad, is The Spanish Love Deception. I know, I'm super late to the game. I love a good romance. I don't care how cheesy it is. I don't care how unbelievable it is. I love me a cartoon romance. And so I honestly think I'm gonna like this. I will say this is pretty thick compared to like my other books that are this genre. Um, but I'm excited. I Some people love it, some people hate it. They say it's similar to Hating Game. I loved The Hating Game when I read it. So we'll see if I like this. It's fake dating trope. Should be fun to read. Actually, the only reason it's on my TBR is I was at Target the other day and I saw it and I was like, my Target has it for like $10. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. Excited, excited for this one. Oh, all the rest. So the next book I want to read in the month of May is going to be Ever True. Um, if you guys read my April wrap up, I started the series. I have two books left, so those two are on my TBR. This is the third book in the trilogy, so I'm super excited to read this. And with it comes a um, novella. And I've actually never read this novella. It takes place after the first book. I would have read it after the first book, but I, I didn't know it existed. So super excited about that one. The last two, I have a Mia Sheridan. I got this on Apple Books for like $1.99. It's called Most of All You. I have no idea what it's about. All I know is I loved Archer's voice last month and I really liked her writing. I thought it was super good and this came up for $1.99 and I was like, why not? So hopefully I'll read this um, in May. Last book I have is a Colleen Hoover. I do own a physical copy of this. It's just at my house like back home. So I can't show you guys it yet, but I'm trying to like along with the nonfiction, I'm trying to read a Colleen Hoover every month just because I know I'm always going to enjoy her book. And so I can always look forward to it every month. And so I have Heartbones. I've heard so many good things about this. I think I've actually owned Heartbones for like almost a year and just haven't read it because I don't know what it is about it, but it just hasn't piqued my interest. But I've heard a lot of good things about it. I'm pretty sure it's YA genre and I actually read Hopeless and I guess I read Confess earlier this year and both of those were I or both of those I think are considered YA or they were considered YA. They just read for a younger audience kind of. So I am super excited about it. I'm sure it's going to be good. I heard it's very summery. I think I think that one's summery. I'm pretty sure. Guys, that's my May TBR. I know it's super short, but gotta keep it at a manageable um, 
reading list i guess if you guys want to keep up with like my book updates like more current you guys can follow my instagram where i talk all about books and it's aubrey chavez reads um and i also have my tiktok where i do like bookish content kind of so yeah go check that out and i will see you guys later let me know what you guys are reading in may and have you read any of these books i would love to know peace and love bye guys